please know that, if you fail to comply, your failure will be interpreted as a denial of my request. The letter to the IRS states, House Democrats have given the Internal Revenue Service a new deadline to hand over President Donald Trump's tax returns days after Treasury Secretary Stephen Nutchin said his department would miss the original deadline of April 10. In a letter to IRS Commissioner Charles Reddick sent Saturday by Ways and Means Committee Chairman Richard Neal, D. Mass, Democrats gave a final deadline of April April 23rd for six years of Trump's personal and business tax returns. To date, the IRS has failed to provide the requested return and return information despite an unambiguous legal obligation to do so. Please know that, if you fail to comply, your failure will be interpreted as a denial of my request, Neil wrote in the letter. The letter also states that there is no valid basis to question the legitimacy of the committee's legislative purpose, citing Supreme Court instructions that Congress power to investigate is broad. It is not the proper function of the IRS, Treasury, or Justice to question or second-guess the motivations of the committee or its reasonable determinations regarding its need for the requested tax returns and return information, Neil wrote. The Ways and Means Committee first sent a formal request to the Treasury Department for Trump's tax returns on April 3, giving the department a deadline of April 10 to produce the documents. I today submitted to IRS Commissioner Reddick my request for six years of the President's personal tax returns as well as the returns for some of his business entities. We have completed the necessary groundwork for a request of this magnitude and I am certain we are within our legitimate legislative, legal, and oversight rights, Neil said in a statement. But Treasury Secretary Stephen Nutchin pushed back on the request, saying his department would be unable to meet the deadline. In a letter to Neil, Nutchin said the Treasury was continuing to review Democrats' request in light of serious issues about whether the request is proper. The legal implications of this request could affect protections for all Americans against politically motivated disclosures of personal tax information, regardless of which party is in power, Nutchin wrote, saying he was consulting with the Justice Department about the legality and constitutionality of Neal's request. Nutchin said that for the same reasons, he intended to supervise the department's review personally. Trump's tax returns have been a contentious subject since he was a candidate for president. He has claimed that he cannot release his returns because he is under audit by the IRS. However, in congressional testimony in February, Trump's former personal attorney Michael Cohen said he'd seen no proof that any audit was underway. And tax experts have said that even if he is under audit, there's nothing to stop Trump from releasing his returns.